let's take a brief look at the Armored Transport DLC. This was the first Heist DLC released for Payday 2, and to be honest, it kind of shows. So, okay, let's start off with the heists themselves. This pack comes with six heists! That sounds amazing, right? Well, in reality, it really comes with two heists, spread across six maps. The first five heists are all the same scenario in different locations. A harbor, a city park, a downtown mall, a four-way intersection, and an underpass. Now, if you've ever watched the movie Heat, you'll catch on to these heists pretty quick. The gang intercepts between one and four armored transports, all carrying valuable cargo. You drill or blast your way into the vehicles, open up the boxes, get the loot, and bail. Pretty simple, right? Well, yeah, it is simple. And that's kind of the problem. They're all very two-dimensional. They're allowed only heists where you set up a drill, get loot, and escape. That's really it. The only version with more going on is Crossroads, as there are ATMs and cash registers to get around the map. Do be careful though, as cloakers and snipers are very abundant in this variant of the heist. But yeah, anyways, the other four versions of this heist don't have any extra loot, just the transports. That's pretty unfortunate considering what loot is available isn't worth very much at all. Since all the bags that are required in order to finish the heist have their values tremendously reduced, you only start making any real money with the bonus bags and loose cash. But for the most part, there isn't really enough of those available to make any real profit. That may be intentional though, as for the most part, these first five heists are pretty easy. If you have shaped charges and a saw, you can clear them in just a few minutes. These first five heists are all quite generic, obviously similar, and not very profitable. The final heist, however, is quite the opposite. The train heist is a much bigger, higher risk endeavor with a huge payday waiting at the end. After finding military documents in one of the transport trucks from the other heists, Bane finds out that there's a high-tech being transported in a train, along with its ammunition. All of this is very valuable, and provided everything goes well, you're looking at a great payout. This heist can be done either stealth or loud. In stealth, you use a hard drive to hack into the vaults and sneak the loot over to either a truck or a boat. In loud, you just drill into the vaults instead. You're given zip lines to speed up loot transport, which is is nice considering the large amount of bags you're expected to move. And don't worry, despite what some players and even Bane will tell you, the ammo won't explode. You can throw it around and shoot it all you like, it'll be fine. They used to detonate it the lightest touch in older versions of this heist, but that's no longer the case. Anyways, the train heist clearly stands out as the highlight heist of this pack. Next, we'll quickly touch on the masks. The president masks make a return from the first game, and they look goofier than ever. Now, obviously what masks and customizations you think are good are entirely your opinion, but I personally love these masks, and the nod to the original Point Break crew. Now let's move on to weapons. This pack brings three to the table. First up is the Commando 553. This gun has the fastest reload out of all the assault rifles available, and is tied with the JP36 and the Clarion for the highest ammo pool of any rifle in the game. However, the accuracy, damage, and mag size are so low that this gun can really struggle to deliver. Then again, with silencer skills, this gun actually performs really well. So well, in fact, that this gun still sees pretty frequent use, even today. If you can spare the skill points, this rifle has a lot of promise. Next on the list is the Swedish K submachine gun. This weapon is pretty mediocre. While it does have good damage and a big mag capacity, the low rate of fire, tiny ammo pool, slow reload, lack of a single fire mode, and intense recoil make this gun just not very good. It does have one purpose though, I'll get to that in a second. But first let's talk about the final weapon, the Gruber Kurz. While the Commando is great and the Swedish K is grading, this weapon kind of falls somewhere in the middle. Once upon a time, this little guy used to be one of the best pistols available for dodge players but rebalance patches and newer weapons have sort of taken it out of the spotlight. Still though, it sports a really short reload time and a good ammo pool. And even if the damage, mag size, and accuracy are low, pistol skills can fix this. But let's get on to the most interesting thing that all three of these weapons have in common. They all have very high concealment. All three of them can be modded to be some of the most concealable weapons in the game, so dodge and stealth builds can complement these weapons pretty nicely. I find that the Gruber Curse in particular makes a great sidearm 
for stealth if you're looking to bring a bulkier primary in case things head south. Basically, the weapons range from meh to decent to great, but they'll all do an excellent job of keeping your detection risk low. It's also worth mentioning that this pack grants you the Seymour Sight, which is one of my personal favorites. It's a very simple, unobstructive sight that works well on pretty much any weapon. A nice little bonus. So, would I recommend this pack? This might surprise some of you, but honestly, yes. Thanks to a few different updates released after this pack's arrival, its content has gotten, for the most part, much better over time. This DLC got panned pretty hard on release if I recall correctly, and at the time it kinda made sense. However, since then the commando has been buffed and the train heist has been improved substantially. I don't know, maybe it's my undying love for heat, but I just can't find myself not liking this pack. Even if the title heists for this DLC are pretty weak, the nice masks, Seymour sight, commando rifle, and especially the train heist make this pack, in my opinion, worth the price of admission. Thanks for watching and take it easy.